Indonesians have cast their votes to choose their next president. Current Defense Minister Prabowo Subianto is the front-runner in the elections despite concerns over his human rights record and claims of improper support from President Joko Widodo. Earlier, the outgoing leader cast his vote in Jakarta. He is set to finish the second of his two allowed terms. Three candidates are in the race to succeed the incumbent president. All three of them also cast their ballots. Apart from the front-runner Prabowo Subianto, the biggest contenders are Ganjar Pranowo and independent Anis Baswidan. Both have been former governors in their 50s. Over 200 million people, the Southeast Asian nation, were eligible to vote in the presidential elections. These elections have been touted as the world's largest single elections. Indonesia is the third largest democracy of the world. And now within hours, the world will know the outcome of the biggest race of the day. Voters will also select local representatives and members of parliament in addition to the president. Defense Minister Prabowo Subianto, who is making a third attempt at presidency, has been leading in opinion polls. According to surveys, Prabowo has a lead of about 28 points. Moreover, Prabowo's election campaign sets him apart from the other two frontrunners. He had turned to social media to reach his young voters. The former general tried to rebrand himself as a cute grandfather. TikTok is flooded with videos of him dancing at rallies. This strategy has positioned himself as an enduring personality among voters. President Joko Widodo is also backing Probovo, but this has led to accusations that he has defied election rules. Now, this has raised concerns that Indonesia, formerly an authoritarian regime, may revert to its totalitarian ways in the election season. The possible consequences go well beyond the boundaries of the nation. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.